Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing an exercise in thirds, both major and minor thirds. And we're doing um, the keys of E major, A major, and G major. And I've done my best to give you different uh, fingerings so that you can kind of practice them all, um, both going up the fretboard and as well as staying in an open position. Um, and thirds are incredibly important you hear them all the time. Some famous examples would be, you know, uh, Brown Eyed Girl. And they just show up all the time. Um, any lead guitar player loves to use thirds because they have the unique quality of kind of sounding like a chord almost. And thirds are generally um, quite easy to play on the guitar because the guitar is tuned in fourths and in a major third. Uh, so you know, it's sort of accessible on, on the strings. So I recently launched a Patreon and I'm creating tabs for the lessons. I'd really appreciate it if you check it out. Uh, I do have a tab for this lesson uh, for you to download at the lowest level and there's other perks as well. I'm also offering private lessons and you can email me at the address listed in the description below. So make sure to subscribe to MT Guitar if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Really appreciate it. Helps us out a lot. And uh, with that, let's get going on this lesson. Okay, so the first exercise is in the key of E. And um, I've done my best to sort of vary up the, the fingerings. Speaking of fingerings, what we want to do in general is switch our fingers whenever possible. And that's written in the tab, the first few fingerings. And I'll explain what that means here as we get going. Um, but what I mean is if you have the opportunity to use different fingers, you should use them. And that's a good thing to do in exercises. It doesn't always happen when you're playing um, case in point, brown eyed girl. We kind of want that slide sound. But if you're gonna play thirds and you wanna get really good at them, you wanna be able to use all four of your fingers and to play them as fast as possible. And the, the most efficient way to do that is to switch your fingers so that you're never repeating fingers. So that you're not going like this, only using your first two fingers or whatever. All right, so let's get going here. So we have seventh fret, fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string, pinky and third finger. And this is a major third, meaning uh, a major third interval is two whole steps away. And the reason we call it a major third is because it's the third in a major key. All right, these are all gonna be either major or minor. Next, we're gonna do fourth fret, fourth string, second fret, third string, and that's a minor third. And again, that's a minor third because it's the, it's the third in a natural minor key. Or it's a step and a half, a, full, a whole step and a half, three frets away. Okay, so, good. Now we go two frets up, but instead of just sliding up, we're gonna use the pinky and middle finger. go to 7th fret and 6th fret, 2 frets up, use the pinky and 3rd finger. I love this little move here. So after we go 7th and 6th, 9th and 8th, then we go 6th and 5th, 3rd and 2nd strings, and then 2 frets up again. Same exact image, just a fret over. Going from major thirds, which is the, the A, the uh, an, an A and a, and a C sharp, B and a D sharp, or the four and five of E major, to minor thirds here, because of the way the guitar is tuned. And this would be C sharp and D sharp diminished. Not the full triads yet, but the thirds of it. Okay, let's, let's uh, go from there. I mean, let's start from the beginning and get to there. Good. Now we go to 7th and 7th fret, I'm sorry, 9th and 9th, and you bar it with your first finger, and then 11 and 10, and then 2 frets up, different fingers. We have the same exact move as before, uh, 10 and 9, and, 11, and 12 and 11. Isn't that cool? Okay, moving on. Almost done, 14 and 12, and then 16 and 14. And then we turn around. Mm -hmm. 
Why don't we do the whole thing in tempo at a slow pace? Ready? Two, three, four. Turn around. Down a string. Down a string. Good. There's your E major. Now we're going to do A major. And I've given us a different starting place here, starting from the E shape of caged. All right, very important to know. And just, make, just running through here, making sure. Okay, so we're going to start with second and first finger this time. And then go to, uh, so fifth fret, sixth string, fourth fret, fifth string. Then to seventh fret and fifth fret, third and first fingers, up two frets, pinky and middle. Nice and slow. Da, da, da. Major third, minor third, minor third. That's why the two and three chords, Roman numerals, are minor, because they have a minor third. So try to connect all these puzzles together. If you know about you know, Roman numerals and intervals, you can kind of realize, oh, that's those are minor thirds, so that's why they're minor in the key of A or in any key, really, it's just Roman numerals. Okay, so we got that. Now we go to fifth and fourth fret, fifth and fourth strings. And then up two frets, pinky and third finger. Up two frets, good. Then we go to uh, ninth fret and seventh fret. Up two frets, switch the fingers. Good, and then seventh and sixth fret, fourth and third strings. Uh, so let's cover that much. Good, that's a whole octave. Now we go to ninth and seventh, up two frets. Then seven and seven, barred. Then nine and nine, bar, but third finger. Okay. And then eleven and ten, up two frets. Different fingers. Ten and nine. First two strings, 12 and 10, up two frets, different fingers. Then that's where the exercise uh, gets to the very top and we turn around. So after here, we go back down. And take the time you need to get the right fingering. So let's do the whole exercise nice and slow. Ready? One, two, three, four. Up a string, turn around, down a string, bar, bar, down a string, down a string, so the fingerings are something that can take a little time to get that right. And if you have control over which fingers you're using, it'll make playing and performing a little easier. Okay, the last one. So we did E and we did A. Now let's do G. And we're going to do open position because ask any bluegrass player, you want to you want to really master the open position if you want to play acoustic guitar well. Because a lot of electric, you sort of get away with playing up the fretboard and not worrying about it. But the open scales and the open uh, chord positions can actually be tricky because they're not set in stone with your hands. So they're always changing. The fingerings are always changing. So we want to uh, get good at that as well. So let's do uh, third and second frets up here, sixth and fifth strings, and then fifth and third frets. Now we go to second fret and open string, fifth and fourth strings. Okay. Then. 3rd and 2nd frets, up 2 frets, switch the fingers, good, now 2nd fret 4th string, open 3rd, and then 4th and 2nd frets, good, now we've made it to the 3rd and 2nd string open, and a whole octave right there. 
then kind of have some fun on these two strings here open second and first fret up two string up two frets I mean okay and then first fret and open first two strings third and second fret fifth and third fret up two frets switch the fingers that's the end of not the end but that's the top go back down Okay, let's do the whole thing nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Reverse. So as you can probably tell, that one's tricky because of the open strings that actually makes it even tougher um, because your fingers are, are not getting into the same patterns as usual. So there you go. Um, what, what I recommend with any exercise is don't just stop here and think you're done. In fact, this is just the beginning. What you want to do is mess around and play around with them musically. Let break some rules, you know, don't just do the fingerings I showed you. Have fun with them. Sometimes people forget to, to do that or, or teach that. And that's something that, you know, has been even more important sometimes than the correct fingerings. The correct fingerings are a way to get you to do something re repetitive uh, over time that you can get more comfortable with. And any jazz musician will tell you, learn the rules and then break them. Uh, or memorize the song and then forget it. Meaning is if it's in your subconscious, is if it's in your heart, if it's in your your um, your ears and your fingers, then you know mission su mission success. Now you can uh, forget and not think as much and just play. So do that as well. Have fun with these thirds, mess around with them, and explore the different fingerings you can come up with as well. All right, there you go. Enjoy. All right, good job, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next lesson.